She's not running for president, so what is Oprah Winfrey doing on the campaign trail? Plus, welcome to the ugly side of politics. And here's one way to steal an election. Hello, roving reporters, and welcome to the best of You News TV. I'm Shannon Payette, your guide to this week's greatest scoops from You Newsers across the country. Folks just like you who go from eyewitness to citizen journalist with just a camera and a click. Our recent presidential election has been the biggest news story for what seems like years now. And what a long, strange race it's been. Turns out lots of you out there were keeping a close eye on the candidates. In Cedar Rapids, you newser Crazy for Iowa catches a pumped up Oprah appearing on behalf of Barack Obama. And we don't know what the future holds, so we must respond to the pressures and fortunes of history when the moment strikes. And I do believe the moment... John McCain speaks for himself at a rally following his victory in Florida's Republican primary. And the crowd goes wild. I'm saying to you that Hillary knows this. She is so organized and so well oriented into service that it starts the first, first day that she goes into the White House. You're standing inside a Democratic caucus at Ardmore Elementary School, thanks to citizen journalist Redbeard. Remember way back all those months ago when we had no idea how this was going to turn out? At the start, it seemed like anybody's race. And volunteers of all ages hit the streets to make their voices heard. There are small victories, stubborn refusals to accept defeat, a whole lot of autograph signing, and this guy. Though you may not know his name or face, Charles R. Newman of Indiana decided to throw his hat into the presidential ring. Why? Well, because, as Newman points out, our political system says that most anybody's got a shot. You may not be president, Charles, but we're glad you're a U-News citizen journalist. Amid all this serious debating and campaigning, we're so glad to see that some of you can always find the humor. McCain in Spain? McCain on a plane? Much too easy for you. There's Obama, and there's the llama. And here's Obama at Hanama. Hanama Bay, Hawaii, that is. The senator sure earned his vacation, though, from speeches to rallies to the basketball court. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tanya 9597 shoots some footage while Barack shoots some hoops. And with all that traveling, sometimes a candidate gets a little tired. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. Uh, one left to go. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii I was not allowed to go to. But we're willing to bet it's supporters like these who kept Senator Obama going strong. These 11-year-old girls are selling lemonade to raise funds for their presidential pick. And Chef Justin Williams had the rare opportunity to serve both Obama and McCain at their debate in Nashville. The highlight for Chef Justin? Whipping up a special bowl of soup for their slightly under-the-weather moderator, Tom Brokaw. Cat T in Springfield, Missouri, has repeatedly been stripped of her Obama signs. So she sets up a camera. She replaces the signs and concludes that a camera is absolutely no deterrent to thieves. Well, Cat, it turns out the little scamps may not be partisan. They stole so many McCain signs from Sweeney Loftus that he makes his own replacement. But if you think that's rough, check out this footage from citizen journalist Walter C. He captures the fracas when peaceful protesters clash with police outside the Republican National Convention. Remember, it's your news, your voice. And all it takes is a camera and a click. I'm Shannon Payette, and we'll catch you next time on the Best of You News TV.